Good morning, little Timmy. Good morning. Good morning, Nick. Nick. Hey, boo boo. How y'all doing? We good, good, good. Good morning. Good morning. Look at Timmy. He's mesmerized. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. I'm, I like that shit. Y'all got to see the nigga with that red on? Shit, yeah, that's, that's back in the hooker days. Look at that, the hooker days. That's Angel. That ain't Angel. That fucking nigga, that ain't Angel. Pepper spray red. <laughs> No selling, no selling, no selling, no selling, grandmas. I don't want to wear red except because it helps us. Yep, and I'm going out after 10 o'clock. Welcome to the party, sir. Good morning, good morning. How are you? You you ever ever listen to your mama grandma say that's the devil's lips, that's the devil's paint. You got the devil's paint on your lips, girl. That's right, that's the devil's paint. Ain't nothing on past 11 o'clock. But legs in 7-Eleven. That's what she's say. Good morning, Mr. Clarence. How you doing? Welcome to the party. What's up, Clarence? How's everybody this morning? Good morning. Good morning. Everybody. Good morning, Big Hove. We enjoy and appreciate you coming through, guys. Like yeah. if you see, tell a friend. We here each and every weekday morning. Uh, Just clowning. The most, prepared, the most unprepared, prepared show you will ever see. Listen, we up in here, y'all. We talking about anything and everything, but mostly we ain't talking about shit. Absolutely no. We ain't talking about shit. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know that much. What's up? Like and, like and share this feed. What's up, Christopher? And we admit it. It's okay we don't know that much. Good morning, Christopher. Let me tell you something. I got to apologize to a lot of big women out there. I got a lot of flack for that. Old Nike shit yesterday. So, <laughs> uh, my, my cousin, my cousin, my cousin. No, no, my cousin. No, my cousin like three. No, my cousin like three hundred forty pounds. She called me a pissed off about. I heard what you said about Nike, <laughs> and I'm so mad at you. What you say with Nike? I said, I said, I'm sorry, what you doing? Eat McDonald's? I said, bitch, what are you talking about? I got, I got a lot of flag for that. I got a lot of flag for that. I'm going to be throwing my coffee this morning. What are you uh, doing? No. All right, so since we're apologizing, I promise not to be so racialist on this feed from henceforth. I will not be saying crackers, niggas, and bullshit like that, because all you crackers out there know <laughs> that's not what my heart is. And so do you niggas. All y'all know. That's not what we're doing. Uh, yeah, we're going to stop saying well, well, Since, there, we're since everybody me. apologizing, I want to apologize for not a goddamn thing. I'm going to say whatever the fuck I want to uh, say. Nigga. All right, I thought you I, I thought was about to come out the closet again. All the goddamn red lipstick on my teeth. Little Timmy had my lips going crazy this morning. She, uh, no, you know she had been mad at the young shirt. How you, how you, how you mad at the young shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Del shirt and his shirt. Listen, Timmy, you know, he was getting excited, y'all. He was getting excited because the only time he gets pussy is when somebody on their period. I know. Look, look, look like you gave a blowjob to a crayon, bitch. <laughs> what you sucking on, Crayola? Shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't shy. Listen, y'all, we got we got a lot to talk about. Christopher Let's said, go. Don't be shocked, Jack, because you might hear anything in here, okay? On this show. We up in here, and we are not PP. Yes, sir. We're not even. No. Not even go ahead, go ahead, go ahead and share that thing, Chris. Share, share that thing with your friends so they can enjoy like you're going to enjoy. Let's get to it. Oh my god, what kind of show is this? This is where you come when you you can't find another talk show to go to, you are just right for us. Okay, exactly, exactly, exactly. <laughs> when, you, when you feel like your life is about to end, come here. <laughs> <laughs> this right here is your last stop before death. <laughs> this is too early for this shit. <laughs> All right, this is where we come for therapy. All right, so we come here looking for no those special expectations or reasonable anything. This is what. Yeah. Okay. Excuse me. 
people who know. I know I used to be your old engineer. Oh, yeah, Chris. Oh, hey, boo. That's right. So you already know what to expect. What's up, boo boo? Yeah, that was you. He didn't change his name. He probably got an assumed name now because he threw oh. me with the Christopher. When we was at Listen Vision. You need to come. Oh, I, I know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Come okay. be I don't. I'm glad to see you. So listen, y'all, let's get right into it. So at the top of the news is Pampers. Pampers has stepped up their game, y'all, for fathers. Pampers have decided to give dads across the country a hand when it comes to changing. They're installing changing stations and having a you know clean public space. And I think a hundred plus locations or restaurant locations across the country. Dale, you got any more on the pamper thing? No, nah, you know, I'm I'm happy they did it. You know, they they paying homage to the men that's out there that's being men and being fathers. Cause you know, I used oh, to yeah. change my kids' diapers all the time. You know what I'm saying? Me so, too. It, 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 it is hard. Own. It is hard when you go a lot of places you can't find nowhere to change. You know, I used to right. be changing my change my baby on the trash can sometimes. Um, you know, put something down. You know, you be in the mall somewhere with nowhere to go. And you don't want to, and I hate to go in the bathroom with a bunch of men and change, especially like my daughter or something like that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And they you know what's funny, Dad? You, uh, you change your daughter's pampers, and now she changed yours, you old bass. <laughs> <laughs> see, I, see, I, that's called a circle of life. <laughs> Come back around. <laughs> <laughs> <You're>, yours coming. <laughs> Yeah, they do have those changing stations, you know, like the family yeah. in most public airports and things like that. So you don't have to go to either the men's or the ladies' rooms. You can just go to your family room. Unfortunately, it's only like one in, yeah. in, uh, you know, in, in most locations. So kudos to Pat. Right. Or- so, so, so playing devil's advocate on this, now they're coming out with this now. Is it because of men being fathers, or is it because more gay couples are adopting kids now? Wait a minute, because of men being fathers? Yeah, or gay couples adopting kids now, and they need a place to change their babies. No, nah, I think it's just because men think, being fathers, Do you fathers, think they brought more light to it? No, nah, I don't think so. No, I don't think so, Dale. No. I think it's so? just okay. that. No, nah, I just think it's a bit, the men, you know, men take care of the kids and of growth of society, yeah. yeah. yeah okay. that's all. Okay. I don't think it's nothing to do with gays. It's nothing to do with just a growth of society, you know. Gays either. And in addition to that, um, I heard that like there was a, a dad on social media or something, and and uh, the the photo video went viral. Yeah, the photo. Fo- yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah he was on his knees trying to change his diet on on the, on his legs. Okay. Yeah, like he didn't have that yeah, yeah. I've done yeah. that. Yeah, I, I get that. You've done that. I too? get that. On my, on my lap. On my lap. Yeah. Oh, everybody. If you're a father or a mother, you change the child pamper on your lap, on your, on your, on your knees. On your knees. You have. Cause, yeah, you had to. Yeah, Tracy. Good Tracy. morning, Steph. Steph. Oh. Hey, Stephanie. Welcome to the party. I forgot to say welcome to A Train. Welcome, comedian A Train, to the party, yeah. y'all. So, um. Congrats go out to Mary J. Mary J. Blige is receiving a award. Go ahead, girl, my girl. She's That's definitely involved. So we should we should we should give her uh, um too early for this shit tribute. I'm not gonna cry. I'm <laughs> not gonna cry. <laughs> I wanna give a shout out to her husband who got that bitch. You got him, nigga. <laughs> die with the lie, nigga. Die with the lie. Nigga, die with the lie. My husband is my hero. Hey, he was a lover and I said, go her. <laughs> <laughs> now, I know I said I wasn't going to be so racialist and sexist and shit, but that is one bitch ass nigga. No, okay. it ain't. That is my hero. You never know that you're Tim hero. That's my hero. <laughs> that is my hero. <laughs> he my hero. Wendy Williams wasn't my hero. That is my hero. If you can get money for that, hey, hey, Jim, we're gonna, we gonna send him a shirt and say "Die with the lie." We're gonna send him a die shirt and say "Die with the lie." Get that money. 
Wherever you are, you're a bitch. Okay. Whatever. Guess what? He's a rich bitch. <laughs> you're a bitch. You earned Whatever. It. Mm-hmm. Who knew? Canoe knew. <laughs> <laughs> but this is the thing. Like I said before, y'all do the same thing us. Y'all can do whatever y'all want us to take our money. Do we take our money? Hey, you're a piss. Yeah, how dare you? He is my hero. Merge my husband. I love you. I love you. <laughs> Call me, bro. We need to hang out. Lord <laughs> Timmy to date you. Because you are the person oh. for him. Lord Timmy better. <laughs> Yeah, you just like one of them old bitter bitches. Yeah. Whatever. I'm happy for it though. I'm happy for it though. She's been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? She's been through the ups and downs. She's been one of those one of those real women. You get to see real life uh black woman with her struggles and her ups and downs. And um it. she she doing her thing. Can't do it. And is is it just me or does she look better as she get older? She looks better as she get older. She did. Yeah, yeah you know man. She, you know why? Because she look more mature than that. You know, she don't look ratchet, you know what I mean? I ain't like right. the Mary J. Bob the Timberland Boots and you know that wasn't me. She's sexy now. Yeah. But she got she got that sexy by the now. Right. I want her ass. I want her. I want her. <laughs> then I'm gonna leave your ass and take your money, just like your husband. <laughs> <laughs> hey, please, thank you for your time, girl. You know how it is over here. We ain't doing shit. We we come and we come around 10 30 ish. Sometimes we late most of the time. I mean, sometimes we on time, most of the time we ain't. We later, yeah. honey, but that's okay because all we doing is talking about nothing. <laughs> You're right. Women of color are the most resilient. You are. You are. Y'all are the most resilient, the most stressful, the most hatingest, the most goddamn. Y'all are most, most but fucking nerve wracking. But you know what? You I'm gonna change y'all for the world unless y'all white. Let me tell you something. You have one. That's thing me too, bro. If you date black women versus white women. Black women, when we get mad or break up, you do some shit. All we're gonna do is break your windows off your car, slash your tires. White bitches gonna right. kill you. White Guess bitches, what? Kill you. you're not gonna survive that breakup. They are going to kill you. Okay, but white girl, but okay, they white guys because them motherfuckers kill you. They don't just quit. Well, don't kill you. you. Like bitch, Guess what? <laughs> but the difference is, a white girl give you a blowjob just because of Susan. Then no anniversary. Then no birthday. She's like, they get a blowjob in the red. Like, why you give me a blowjob? Set the light to the red. Oh, shit. <laughs> 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 Black women want a reason. Oh, you know what's our bro? You're going to get it tonight. It's our anniversary. <laughs> oh, oh, happy yeah. birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday, birthday to you. you. <laughs> Words of a great American philosopher, Lunel. That's what the fuck prostitutes are for. You think somebody's gonna suck your dick all night? Hell no. Well, this, well, whatever, whatever. That's why y'all. That's why black women losing. Y'all losing. That your game up. Y'all losing. Yo, we want we want to give a special shout out to Becky today. Hey, Becky. Yeah, yeah, today is Becky day. Today is Becky. Today is officially Becky day. <laughs> Becky with the bomb head. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's up. I'm going to have my own Becky on the side, and I'm going to bring her whenever you be wanting to get some head or some shit. Good, good, good. Do you do good. it? Go on, get it. Speaking of Mary J. Blige and the awards, man, I I'm, I'm must say, man, I'm, are y'all looking forward to the BET Awards coming up like you used no. to? Like back no. in the day, you know you're going to have some really good music. Now it's like it's, a, it's some good music, man. But it's no like we need. It's no more groups, man. Well, you know the problem is though. The problem is it's too many damn award shows. Too many awards. Yeah. It's too many. That's the problem. <laughs> God damn. Country music award had one every goddamn week. How many country music awards is there? <laughs> My fucking so you know they can't fit it all in the same two hours. They God got damn! Country Music Awards. They got the Country Country Music Awards. They got the City Country Music Awards. Just, <laughs> Too many. Just because you country awards. They about they about to about, they they about to start having the the rap country awards and the R and B country yeah. awards. Yeah, was with Lil Nas X. He about to be the Don't take one. my horse on the old town road. I'm gonna ride Nicky <laughs> till I can't no more. <laughs> I got the horses in the bag. 
Yeah, yeah. Yeah. still a fag. No. <laughs> new hip hop in this country. Yeah, yeah, you know what? I'm glad. They, you know, he got a lot of flack over that song. A lot of flack over that song. So they didn't want to acknowledge him. X. Yeah, they got a lot of flack over that song because of, they didn't want to acknowledge his country music until Billy Ray Cyrus got on it. Yeah, exactly. Good morning, Jamon. Welcome to the party. What up, what up, Jay? I saw Jamon down at the cigar spot last night. So, you know, been, you should. Hanging around cigar spots trying to pick up a sugar daddy or something, right? No, no, you try to catch chances. I see you every week. <laughs> What's your name? <laughs> you better stop hanging around those damn cigars, Bob. <laughs> Look, how you doing? <laughs> the only thing good is you, your hair already short. That's the good thing. You better stop all that bullshit. Call me Whisper, though. Welcome to the show where we talk oh. about absolutely nothing. We talk about absolutely nothing. I'm your host, Nick A. <laughs> 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 <I'm a father>. <laughs> <laughs> Give a nigga a blue job and look up. <laughs> you give a nigga a blue job and look up. You like that. <laughs> you like that. <laughs> That'll be that be ten dollars. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Yeah. I figured. Because I mean, she's she's hot. I mean, she's really hot right now. She stay and she stay consistent. You know what I mean? She stay yeah, consistent. I, I think she gets spit off. Yeah, people love her, man. But I tell you this, man, it's not gonna last. No, a lot of people are complaining that Nene is not nice. Yeah, I heard that too. She's like the Cruella Deville of talk shows. But I heard. Yeah. that's probably why she's getting a spinoff. So Bravo has greenlit her new spinoff, giving it like twelve episodes. According to people close to Nene, the uh, Atlanta housewife, Nene Leakes, is demanded uh, her own kind of show like Vanderpump Rules and Kim's Rules. Right. Uh, I forgot the name of Kim Zoziak's show, but it's about time the sisters get a spinoff because they always get a white bitches spinoff. Kim got one, Vanderpump got one. It's about time one of the, the uh, black housewives get a spinoff because I, I think agree. Yeah, that's true. Nene has paid her dues, mean or no mean. You know what I'm saying? She's been out here yeah. trying to do her thing. You know, Coach Roz on uh, Glee and taking yeah. off the roles. Yeah. She, she deserves it. It's about time. And I think, I think, I think a few of them has learned the key that it's okay to be drama filled. But don't fuck with the producers and all that. See, that's what Jocelyn messed up at. She she was just plain nasty to everybody. She was? So she didn't get no spin out. Jocelyn didn't get no spin out because she was just nasty to everybody. Who was she nasty? She, Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop. She oh. probably the only person that didn't really blow up from her from using that platform. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Like Nene, she throws shade on the show all the time. She keep the controversy going. But I bet she cool with the producers and everybody that run that Bravo show. Well, she, that's yeah, how she, she was, was able to. Maintain and keep her get her show. She keeps it classy. Let me tell you, she, yeah. you can say a lot of things things about her, but she ain't mm. not, not been a classy chick. Oh yeah, I will say that. That's a classy stripper. Mm -hmm. That is. That's one of them classy strippers. She man, she don't like a stripper to me. You know what I mean? She don't like she. I don't know. Somebody don't don't say stripperish. Right. You know? Monroe, Monroe said she hit the producer. What do you mean she hit the producer, Monroe? Did she hit him or did she hit him? No, no, she hit him. She hit him. I remember that she put her hands on the producer for one time. Oh, for real? What producer? Yeah. I remember she had, she had put her hands on the producer. I forgot what the reason was. They said they suspended her for a minute. I don't remember. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah but let me tell you something. I missed that one. But, but get, getting back at home. Like you said, nigga, she don't like, like, I say she's a stripper. She has nothing to me to say stripper. Nothing. Nothing. 
She probably like Easter Bubble. Worst number in the strip club. I know. It's like Easter Bubble gospel music. Bubba. We fall down. <laughs> <laughs> when they talk about sex stuff, she's kind of prudish on the right, show. Exactly. You don't really like, you know, you don't see Nene in sex. Like, you know. No, she, I don't. Nah. Mm-mm. She, 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 re- like, she put you in the mind of a Wheezy Jefferson fucking. You know, right. you're fucking. Cause like Cardi B? Like Cardi B? That bitch like she fucked you with a ceiling fan. Black that she, 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 she nasty. Okay. Like them. Yeah. Just, she fine too. Stripper. You get that. Uh, what's the other girl? Um, Wiz Khalifa. Now was she, now maybe, maybe we mis- misunderstood the whole premise of her being a stripper. She maybe wasn't like a stripper to strip necklace. She might have worked in the strip club, you know, Doing the wood, stripping the wood down to make sure the wood stays good for, for, for the other dance. To the wood, to the to the wood. <laughs> but she don't, but she don't, you don't see. Like I said, she like the me. You look like, like somebody you can tell. She, Cause she not, she not stripper fine. She not uh-huh. stripper fine. Maybe she was stripper fine back then. But yeah. they need to show some pictures of that. She has a look. I just don't like that. You know, people say she mean. I just think that's terrible. So like you said. Mean is mean. I, I think I, I, I'm always disappointed when people who I admire or I'm a fan of and I meet them and they're not nice. I'm very disappointed, you know, and, and it just it, it changes them for me. I, but you know what, Nick? You know what, Nick? You know, Nick I'm gonna say what I do, and it's true. You know, I do show a lot of big people, I never meet them on purpose. Yeah, I never meet them on purpose. I, that, cause I, don't want that, I don't want that stigma of. Of them being me, you know what I'm saying? I don't want, you know, I, I like them from afar. I like what the, the work they do, and like they hustle, and that's about it. I leave it alone from there. So I never try to meet them because they always disappoint you. Like, like Paul Mooney, I love him. Well, that's one of the meanest motherfuckers in comedy. My buddy went up to him in, in LA. He's like, get away from me, nigga. I got shit to do. He's, talking, he's like, get away from me, nigga. Paul Mooney story I ever heard. Now, I've met Paul a couple times. Now, he's sort of like here, but not here, like, right. like. But nobody's home. I think he just uh, aged out of the game. But um, I knew it was something wrong. I met, I saw him at uh, Howard Theater where him and Dick Gregory was doing shows, and he was more, right. he was less lucid than Dick Gregory, who was like twenty years older than him, right? At the time. Right. But Paul Mooney, uh, my favorite Paul Mooney story is when Michael Williams, the founder and creator of Comedy Act Theater, always give kudos to him. First ever black comedy club chain in America. So Michael said when he went out in 1985 to start the Comedy Act Theater, he sought uh, Paul Mooney to be the first host. And he called him, you know, because Paul Mooney was prominent. He was writing for Richard Pryor. He was black comic, real outspoken. Yeah. And that's what mm-hmm. he they said. Paul, Paul, Paul said, Michael Williams, what the hell do you want? I heard you was around town looking for me. I don't want to do no nigga shit. And hung up on him. <laughs> That's Paul. That's Paul. He told him no. And Robin Harris became the first host and now in, went down in history as the most famous famous host of the Comedy Act Theater. Just yep. as hell. That shit is yep. Paul Mooney, he, I, he was nice, but he don't, he, he don't pull no punches, though. Yeah, he don't. He, he, he don't like to be, he don't like to be around a lot of people. He really, you know, but you know, he, Paul Mooney real sick, though. He really sick, man. So yeah. you know, he got cancer. And then, so and, then my th- and then my thing is, sometimes you just have those moments where, you know, as a celebrity, you always talk or you always got to be on. You always got to be on when you meet people. But sometimes you just have those human moments where you just no. Can't but be on. Movie like just that. Be- he like that all the time, bro. This, <laughs> so this, this nigga wake up with a fist ball. Can't wait till a nigga says something to me today. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's like that Bill Cosby was evil, too. Somebody said, I heard Bill Cosby was mean. Yeah, I, heard, I heard he had some shit with him, too. Well, of course, we all know that now. You know, most of the black comics don't really dig Bill Cosby because <laughs> he was so judgmental. You know, like, like niggas touching him. What'd you say, Tim? <laughs> you know, he... Nigga, he put that guy that sippy... <laughs> nigga, hold that nigga with a sippy cup. Put that sippy cup down, nigga. But you know what? But, but you know what? Like I said, nigga, I try not to never meet them because, like I said, they always disappoint you. You, you know, just, just 
Bro, I just stay away from them. They do. And I still say to this day, uh, one of the people who I admired and, and finally met and I absolutely adore and I consider this nigga my favorite human is D.L. Hughley. I would say the same thing. The nicest motherfucker, you nicest nasty motherfucker you ever want to meet. He has nasty outward, but he got some shit with him. But he is just like a downright all around cool. Yes, he is. You know, let me, he, let, he's considered let me tell you. He's never trying to hurt nobody's feelings. He got he's niggas. my favorite comedian. <laughs> you know, you know, when I first started, I wanted to be like D.L. Hughley. That's what I used to follow. I used to follow D.L. Hughley. That's who I wanted to be like. Yeah. And I first met him, you know, through you or whatever. I was first of all I was surprised he already knew who I was. So that was a that was you know that was already a compliment to me. He and got he always coming fucking elephant too. He don't forget shit. He could meet you or even see you once and remember that shit forever. Yeah, like, yeah. He, you saw me, man. We we talked and chopped it up. Man, I, man, I was so impressed by him. Yeah, man. He he will tell you. So, like, he can confirm and validate that it's real. Because, you know, how some people just be blowing smoke up your ass. I know who you are. He will repeat some shit that you said, like, years ago. And, yeah. like, damn. Yeah. That nigga yeah. is. Yeah. I fuck with him. D.L. Hughes. I do. I fuck with D.L. That's still one of my favorite. Still my, still my favorite comic to this day. Yeah. To this day. Like I said, and I, and I, and I love working with him. Mind you, I go on stage and tear that shit up. But we, we have a good time. Uh, Maria Sanchez, me, Ray Diva, and Maria Sanchez, who's at the Baltimore Comedy Factory. And I went up to him and I had on these high ass shoes. You know, I'm 5'11 with flat, flat feet. And uh, I had these shoes. They had these tall. And he's not real tall. He's a short guy. And so I went up to him and shook his hand. I said, Mr. Hughley, yo, Hughley, how you doing? I'm Nikki Moore. He looked up at me. He said, you certainly are. You're definitely not Nikki Less, that's for sure. <laughs> 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 yeah, and he was so nice to me that night. I was like, I love this nigga. And then yeah, I I, too, man. years later, but when I did, he was still nice. He was, and he remembered that night. He yeah, was cool. man. Yeah. As I said, you know, some people you meet are great, but some people, man, you meet a I had a couple of people that are asses that I met in the, in the industry, man, that I just won't even I ain't gonna mention their names. Rhyme with, they rhyme with Ricky Smiley. I ain't gonna mention their name though. Some people are assholes. <laughs> I, I ain't gonna mention his name though. They rhyme with Ricky Smiley. <laughs> Could it be Ricky Smiley? <laughs> oh, oh, it rhyme with I said him, but it rhyme with Ricky Smiley. <laughs> I had, you know? yeah. So, and I had one encounter with him. I just like I hope so. I just I don't know. Maybe he had a, maybe he had a bad night. Maybe <laughs> Marlo say Bill Cosby not being mean right now. <laughs> yeah, he is. Yeah, yeah Bill, 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 Bill Cosby. I bet you run that jail. I want you gonna eat your beer? You gonna eat your pudding pop? Oh, uh, no! Let me tell you a joke. <laughs> Bill Cosby, I still feel like that shit is foul. That they, you know, I don't think. Yeah, that was, was foul. I yeah, don't fuck how mean he was. I don't think he deserved what's happening to him now. And you know, I think oh, that definitely not. That shit, they, like. So many people have done so much worse, and we still have to deal with these motherfuckers. And for them to incarcerate an eighty-something-year-old man who is harmless for some bullshit, and I'm not even saying that rape. I, 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 I'm not gonna call it bullshit. Let me get out of the way right now. You that's put a drink. You put anybody in a woman's drink and do what you do. That's not bullshit. I'm saying, Timmy, we don't know that. That was never fucking proven. Okay, that's first. Second, what? I. Don't with him necessarily. I side with, with, with the facts and the facts are there's so many instances where motherfuckers, white people, have been mm -hmm. charged way worse shit and they still walking among us. You know, this kind of shit, like the facts just don't support the circumstances here. 40, 50 the facts. You went back 20 or 30 times, bitch? You got yeah. raped and went back three times? What, you wasn't yeah. sure? I just wanted Thank to... You, but that's that's one woman, but what about the other forty-two? <laughs> what about the other forty-two victims he tried to do? You mean, so, I mean, I get it. I get it. I don't know. I don't want to say nothing about it because I don't want to be like uh, nobody's motherfucking subject. But, but, but Nikki, I, understand it. Understand this. I get you, it. Nikki. I get you. But yeah. knowing, but knowing that the court system is hard on us, don't do this shit. Well, I How about that. But. I'm not saying I'm not saying Bill Cosby is innocent of anything. 
I don't know what the fuck happened. But I do know that if somebody do something to me in a situation, I'm not fucking coming back for more. What the fuck? The bitch said she went back several times. I'm not saying, I'm, I'm, I'm not saying her, but the thing is, Bill Cosby, you, you, we know the judicial system is against us. We got to stop doing shit. Let's stop that and then stop comparing. Well, white people, they do the same thing. Well, if you don't do it at all, it won't happen to you. You know, you know it's not for us. You know it's not for us. John said nothing. He ain't do nothing because if, if Bill Cosby is in jail, they need to dig up Hugh Hefner and put that motherfucker in there with him. Okay? Oh, yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. No, no, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a few people. It's a few people they need to dig up and do it. But, you know, like I say, you know, skin color make a difference in America, unfortunately. Yeah, but that's does. not about what happened. Those women, if if in fact they were victims, they were pawns also, because that sure. ain't that's not the reason this nigga sitting in jail today. Okay, that is not it. We know that. We know that. But I'm just, but I'm thinking I mean, is, I'm, you can't you can't give white people a reason. So you don't get mad until fifty years later, white bitch. Come on. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying that. I think you made bad choices. I think it's ugly white bitches they got me. They, oh my god, they was hideous. Yeah. But the fu- the funny thing the funny thing about it that this can still be a subject talking about Bill Cosby, but all right. that other shit with these crackers done blew over. Oh, like yeah, the man yeah, from like, the Senate and all that shit. Why he why he he ain't, he ain't in jail? Is it? Where, where they, the producer? You got, like, you got like, the movie the movie the movie executives. Oh yeah, where that, shit ain't, that shit ain't came back up yet. Huh? Bobby Weinstein. Yep, they they put yeah. that shit in the rug. He's going to jail, but he's not. He's he's not. Um, considered. Nikki, he should have been with the jail. Um, if you take, if you pay attention to the stats on on this stuff, and you and you look at the patterns, the only people actually being accused or in, even taken down are white, black. I'm sorry, black men and Jews. Okay, they not fucking with no. Straight <laughs> white. They they put no. uh, Harry. What's the guy from the news? Harry Rose. Uh, you know, all of them are black men. Or two. Ain't no well, let me, white guys get for this. Right, but let me tell you something about the Jews. Let me tell you what the, what the, why the Jews are getting it because they are tired of the the Jews been running the movie industry forever. We know that the movie industry Jews run that. They do. They run. They run. They run producing. They run all that stuff. So it's it's just a chance for them to take over. That's all it is. They try to take over. Just, you know what I mean? Enough is enough. And yeah. we'll move on from that. So, in other news. <laughs> oh, Black Panthers. Go ahead. We <laughs> shall overcome. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy. It's, it's crazy, but it's, it's, that shit is crazy. And more interesting news. What happened? Old Nate done did it now. You done did it now. So, what? Old apparently decided that they would profile, well, not even Old Navy, but this lady who worked for Old Navy, Stephanie, I think is her name. This is uh, the, the woman, the Black woman is Linda Calderon. And she is a Canadian woman who is speaking out after she says she was racially profiled. She was racially profiled and assaulted. <laughs> And if anyone has seen the video on social media, you already know what it is. This happened in Ontario, Canada, right? Mm-hmm. But uh, no, she lives. So she she actually went in. I think we might even have a little bit of the video. Let me see if I can get that video. This she, she went into the store. She went into the store and left out. And the lady say, you didn't come in the store with the shirt on. Right. And she still she 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 says she has this thing about keeping tags on her stuff right. when she wear it the first time after she buy it. Stop. <laughs> of course, stop, yo. Of, stop. of course. Girl, so yeah. so she walks out the store and the girl follows her. I guess the girl was lost prevention that works for the store and told her you didn't walk in the store with this shirt on. You left out with the shirt. Right. And started demanding her to come back to the store. See, and she kept saying, "No, I bought this shirt yesterday. I was going to, you know, exchange these clothes." She had stuff in a bag she was going to exchange. She had the receipt for everything. And what? the girl was very abrasive, start being very abrasive to her. So even mm. from my personal opinion, if, if we can get the video a little bit, she was a little over dramatic with it because the girl did grab her hand, which, you know, is simple assault. They call that simple assault. Okay, listen. Right. But 
saying. Listen to what she's saying. But I mean, did you see me cut walk in the store then? Yes. So then what what how why so would I have to out of the store then now? But didn't I walk in the store with this? No, you didn't. The I didn't walk the tag's still on. Yeah, the tag is still on, but I didn't walk into the I didn't walk into the store with my old lady top but on. I'm on the phone with someone, I can't listen to you at the same time. I'm on the show. So you're saying that I didn't walk with the shirt on? In, I didn't come in the store with this? No, you did not walk into Old Baby with that shirt on. You walked out of Old Well, you're going to have to call the police then, because I did. We have cameras now. Okay, so what are you going to do? You can check the cameras. So go check the cameras on. right now. Do you want me to come with you? You can come with me. I'm not coming with you. Yeah, yeah, are you nervous? Does it look like I'm nervous? Oh my God. This is the funniest thing I've ever seen in my life. They're saying that I didn't walk in Old Navy with my shirt on. Okay. Let's see what's going to happen now. Okay, so I'm going to fast forward a little bit because she got, she got to the point where she did touch the lady. She grabbed the lady's arm. She grabbed the lady's arm uh -huh. after the lady told her right. that she wasn't going back into the store. She was like, ma'am, you have to come with me and grabbed her arm and stuff. She was like, oh my God, please let go of my arm. I will go crazy. And she did yeah. that. But I don't think she was over dramatic. I think that it was exactly what the circumstance called for. And nigga, nigga, hold on, hold on, hold on. So she walked into the same store she bought a shirt the next day with the tag on the shirt that she wore. Nick. Yeah. It's so, so, so it was a, it was a Nick, different Nick, location. Nick. It was a different Nick. location from where she bought it from. But, but Nikki, who really leaves the tags on the shirt and wears the shirt when, when they're hanging out? At a club, yeah. But walking in the street, ah, ah. To, 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 her, to, to, to her defense, she said that was her thing. She even took off a brand new pair of shoes she had on, and she still had the, the tag in the bottom of the shoe. And she was like, that's just something I do. She said, people that know me know that's what I do with my no, clothes. They know she's been up and it's, 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 it's interesting. She's I mean, it makes it. Man, bullshit. He's boosting shit and selling it, keeping the tags on it. Don't give me that boo. Y'all, I'm sorry, yo. I'm sorry. Y'all can say what y'all want. Y'all can say what y'all want. I'm a hood dude. She keeping the tags on and wearing it. She and she, she do all shoes got tags on. She is boosting and selling. She is not. <laughs> Nikki, don't be stupid. What's you up, Shadow? She's boosting and selling. Why would she be? Just because that's her thing. She said she just quirky like that. She had to receive. I'm, I'm quirky like that. Anybody no. on Facebook right now? Anybody on Facebook right now? Raise your hands. You got the tag on your clothes right now. I do that sometimes. Exactly. I keep the Nikki, stop. Stop, Nikki. Stop. You do the accident. Mine is for yeah. that. I, 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 I dig where you come from, too, Tim. For, for me, I was kind of like, okay, she, she a little over dramatic. She's doing a little bit too much. I understand. The racial profiling thing a little bit when you got all these people in this expensive mall. It's a different type of mall, but still, like it, I, I figured she could have handled it a little more quietly if she was a little right. if, if it wasn't such a big deal. Well, first like, of all, it's, it's best the best time to let stuff go instead of all, all that dramatic. But come on, Nikki, stop. The girl is boosting and stealing stuff. She stealing stuff and she boosting and she selling it. It's not going to tell me that I keep my tags on all my stuff and I wear it. Get out of here with that bull. I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. Okay. No, no, no. Friend who would leave tags on. Let me tell you. You know what? Hey, John. Hey, John. You know what she is? A crackhead. Now go ahead, John. She's still on Thank you. Women do that a lot. I'm saying. It hey, ain't hey, 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 Chef, you don't know if you're a man or a woman. You don't know what store to take it back from. You have no clue. <laughs> you don't know if the man or the woman section. So you don't count either. <laughs> Do that. All, all my people out there that's listening that might be confused with this too early in the morning for this shit, please like and share this feed. Yeah, you yeah. That happens to me. People keep... Yeah, the they call boosters. I'm sorry, that is bullshit. No. You don't want to all day with an uncomfortable tag on your back all damn day, sweating. 
Get out of here with that shit, you boots and ass people. All y'all ain't nothing but damn boots and thieves. Y'all thieves. And if you got any good discounts, call me. 443 67. And then she had no business putting her hands on it. No, she didn't. No, nope. and, and she was wrong. She was wrong. <laughs> Monroe, TMI, Monroe, TMI. <laughs> hey, thank you, Jamal. She's stealing. Oh, she said, oh, I'm sorry. You're not going to convince me that somebody will walk around with all their tags on their shoes and stuff but no, and tuck them in uncomfortable. Bullshit. That's why I got, I got tagless t shirts because I don't like tags. I'm sorry. People, nope. people keep their tags on, Timmy. I, know. I understand that. If you want to take it back, but she was walking into a store out and out and about with a tag on her shirt, taking some other stuff back. Hanging out I'm sorry. It was in the back. If you look at the goddamn footage, it doesn't matter. But see, a clothes in the bag, you said, with tags on it too, right? She was boosting stuff and taking it back while getting the money. I'm telling you. She boosted. It seemed, to me, it seemed very schemish. And then at the same time, I just think the security lady handled it wrong. That's why she was able to be put on blast like that. <laughs> yeah. People that know her all the way to another store, grab her. She was feeling a little froggy. She put her hands on a lady and like, you're going to pull this big woman back into the store, bitch? Get your hands off of me. Sit your ass down. Have several seats. Even if she was right about it, it doesn't yeah. matter what you know. It only fucking matters what you can prove. And you could not prove that that fucking lady had stolen anything. Right. I hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Stop all this. I think we have a too early for this shit. Love connection going on right now. Shep just asked Monroe to see the tag on the panties, and Monroe said, sure. Hey, let's give it up for Let's give it up for I thought we don't made a connection. I thought we don't made a connection. Okay. <laughs> I'm rolling to take that. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, okay. A love connection has been made. This is a it's early for this shit first. We just hooked up two diesel dykes. No I'm kidding. Diesel <laughs> dykes. They ain't no that no, they ain't fucking they own wrestling. That's on wrestling. <laughs> on behalf on behalf of of it's too early for this shit. We're going to pay for y'all first date and we're going to see y'all on an all business date to McDonald's on 8th Street. You bring the barrel at the very least. <laughs> we can get a cracker barrel. I to I even bring for Chick Fil A. Chef is my motherfucker, right? Yeah, we can fuck with Chick Fil A. They but they might want the waffle fries. Yeah, hey, y'all crazy. They heavyweight. You better say old country buffet. They heavyweight. Stop fucking with them. Let me get a third plate. Let me get a. Let me get out here, y'all. We are way over time. All right, over time, y'all stupid. Monroe says she wants the Chick Fil A. It's all yours, baby. That's right. Monroe, give whatever you want. Thank you, Monroe, for, for, being, for helping us with our show. Hey, Monroe, Monroe, you get a large ice cream, too. <laughs> yeah, okay. Y'all are so evil. Both of y'all evil, just like mean girls. I can't stand it. Listen, we are here each and every morning. Thank you guys for joining the party. Hey, Bree. Like and share. Thank, it. Thank you, Bree. You understand? Oh, yes. hey, Bree, Bree, Bree just made a very good point. Let's give it up one time for Timmy in the internet today. Hey, good luck. No bullshit. I move locations. That's why. I ain't got, I ain't got, I ain't got no junkies around. Yeah. I move locations. <laughs> that shit clear and sound good. What? Yeah, I had to move, sir. Nice can do on the left. Chef, that's our producer. That's Big Dale. Just like Puffy. This is where the producer all. <laughs> In the video, yeah, this take is, that, this is take that, take that. <laughs> <laughs> that's our P. Okay? That's our P. Diddy. Big hey, 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 Chef, his, his body said like one of them fucking peep candies that they be wearing tank top. <laughs> <laughs> he said like a peep. His body said like a peep. <laughs> I'm in, I'm in charge, I'm in charge of the S curl chemicals for uh Timmy. I make sure Timmy has stay straight. <laughs> 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 what 
the hell was that? You gotta go, Nikki. We gotta, you gotta go. Take us home. Uh, it's the rally for the shit. <laughs> and that was a motivational moment from the mouth. That's all we got today. Don't forget to like and share, please. Everyone share. <laughs> We're here 1030 ish. <laughs> and we are going to run. It's too early for this. Early for this shit. Love y'all. Y'all be good, man. Until tomorrow. Friends.